Hi, my name is Megan Hollingsworth. I am thrilled to take a moment to share my testimony of just how profoundly impactful the 2023 Women's Conference for Kindreds had on my spiritual journey with the Lord. Whether you're fully on board or maybe even feeling a bit apprehensive about whether it's your thing, and I do that in quotations because that was me last year, is this really my thing? I invite you to hear my story with an open heart. Be open to the possibility of an indescribable, life-changing experience and say yes to the potential transformation that awaits you. The worship, the speakers, the activities and discussions at the conference altered the course of my spiritual walk. I would even say that it accelerated it in ways that I had never imagined. Saying yes to attending the 2023 Women's Conference, saying yes in my heart to discovering a peace that surpassed worldly understanding, and vulnerably allowing the Holy Spirit to fill me with hope that I so desperately longed for, these were pivotal moments in my life. My experience at the conference became a major catalyst for change, reshaping the way I lived and deepening my relationship with Jesus. Believe it or not, my first ever women's conference wasn't even a year ago. At that time, like this time, as I'm making this video a year ago today, I was grappling with a deep, dark hopelessness rooted in depression and an overwhelming amount of anxiety. I could barely even function. I could barely even look at people. I could barely even smile. Although I'd been to church and I'd heard of Jesus, it was never the core of my existence. I never knew how to make Jesus the core of my existence. Now picture every adversity in your life as a digging deep dark hole. Every circumstance, every bad event that happens is digging you deeper into the ground. My hole was profound and I found myself at its bottom for years. I perceived every unfortunate circumstance in my life that was happening to me as life working against me, not for me. It was making the hole deeper and deeper. I could see the way out. I could look up. I could see the light. I could see, even see the ladder right in front of me, but I didn't know how to climb it. I didn't even know how to take the steps to get to the ladder. I literally felt like I was stuck in mud and I didn't know how to find my way out. Maybe you felt this way too before. Perhaps you even feel this way now. If you feel this way now, I pray that this message reaches you and that you feel led to attend the conference this year. I vividly recall the enemy working against my decision to attend the women's conference last year. Doubt and uncertainty, fear and hurt clouded my mind. I can't even remember the reasons I concocted to avoid going. I even tried to give away my ticket at the last minute. Admittingly, I don't recall praying about whether I should go, but looking back, one thing is for certain, the Lord knew my heart. He knew I wanted to go. He knew I needed to desperately go. Jeremiah 29, 11 reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So I went. Reluctantly, and not reluctantly. When I was there, I immersed myself in every worship song, listened intently to every speaker, and cherished every interaction with all of the amazing women I encountered there. Though I may not have known it then, I now realize that God was at work. He was not only working in me and my heart, but in all the hearts of the women present. Fast forward nearly a year, and reflecting on all that has transpired since that conference, I can confidently say that I am out of that hole. Yay! <laughs> I have climbed that ladder. God has been the core of my existence since last year. I've emerged from darkness and been drawn into God's light and love. And yeah, life circumstances, they still come my way. They don't slow down. And attending the conference hasn't necessarily made life easier. In fact, it might be quite the opposite. For example, I could talk about how just in the last six months, I've since moved from my hometown of Kansas City with my husband and two small children to New Jersey for a few months, 
back to Kansas City and now I'm sitting in a field sharing my testimony with you in Southwest Kansas. But that is a long story of what it looks like to be obedient to God and maybe a story for another day. The message I hope to convey is not just the growth in faithfulness, not just what it looks like to have faith, but learning how to trust God, learning to see and know how faithful God is, even in all the chaos and all the adversity. That is genuinely life-changing. His promises are real, his word is living, and his beautiful love for us is beyond any of our comprehension. I am profoundly grateful for the transformative work God did in my heart during the 2023 Kindred's Women's Conference. I'm overjoyed that I said yes, even when doubt, fear, anxiety, and depression almost prevailed. One thing is absolutely certain though, God is for us. God loves us. And despite all of life's messiness, it is meant to be joyful. The joy found in a relationship with Christ is unparalleled to anything else. And I sincerely hope that you get to experience it too this year at 2024 Kendra's Women's Conference.